Hi folks, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, we're on the Commodore Amiga. I'm looking at a game which hasn't been tackled too many times on the uh, Commodore Amiga or any computers. It's a 10-pin bowling game called Strikes and Spares, published by Beyond Entertainment in 1993. It's a third-person sort of like, uh, well, it is a 10-pin bowling game. Uh, we do two players, but I've got a funny feeling that there's no AI computer here, so I might have to control uh, both of them. Uh, the other game we uh, played was Kingpin Arcade Sports Series Bowling in 1995 by Team 17, which was quite an advanced bowling game that was pushed as far as they could do. And there was Championship Bowling on the Mega Drive. So let's put my name in, see how this one plays. Now it's got two styles of play. One is you can do all the adjustments from a menu, I think, on the left. There it is there. Another one, you can use the mouse and just, um, well, forward bowl the thing. So that w w version is probably a bit trickier. So what we got? We got speed, we got curve on the ball, we got sense, whatever that is. It must be spin in some description. Uh, score there, and then there's to finally bowl it. Okay, let's line it up in the middle. Don't get to choose the colour of our bowling ball, which is a shame. It does feel a little bit like a public domain game at the moment. 1993, so two years before uh, Kingpin Arcade Sports Series bowling. What's happened to the bowling ball? Someone's take a bite out of the side. Oh dear, and I bowled it there. So it wasn't quite in the middle, no. Just like King, uh, Kingpin uh, Bowling, uh, depending on the speed, it takes the, uh, the speed this arrow goes backward and forward. We need to line up, I think. Did I get it? Well, no, not really. I had three left. If you get a strike, that's maximum points. Get a spare with two bowls, and that's the other. That's the other play, uh, method, which I didn't do very well. Okay, so I'm bored already. We're about two minutes in. Out of the two, I'd say go for Kingpin RK Sports Series Bowling, but maybe this will grow on me. Uh, quite a lot more stats on this one, so it's trying to be a little bit more technical, but it doesn't, doesn't look quite as nice. You don't see the person bowling the ball or anything like that. Yes, um, it's pretty dull. It's pretty dull. Uh, this is coming because someone, well, sort of recommended it. But they, they said it was another type of bowling game, so I was a little bit interested uh, there. But there's not a great deal to it. It was a commercial release, but I wouldn't like to pay any serious money for it. I would have liked to have got it free on the cover of a magazine, that's fine. But it's not using too many colours either, is it? It's that blue's recycled quite a lot. And we've got grey, a little bit of red up the top there. That would have been better as yellow, the numbers on what go you're on. But you get ten sort of like bowls, and then it's the final scorecard to see who's won. So a few is here with a human opponent, and it might be a little bit better. That's not bad. Kaboom! Well, that's a strike. So strikes and spares. Yes. Uh, this is Pinky, player two, uh, who I'm also controlling. I say bowl saint really slow. I don't recommend tracking this one down. Not unless you're really, 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 really times 50 into 10 pin bowling. As I said before, uh, have a look for Kingpin Arcade Sports Series Bowling, which isn't a great game either, but it's, it's better than this. Oh dear, if I did that bowl in real life, you don't even, even get to uh, control what shoes you're wearing. Those red and white ones, or what other colours, and what size you've got, either. Go, Nick, go. So I've got a strike and bowl number two. Let's see if I can do it again. Uh, let's go a bit slower. So the slower you go, the easier it is to control the ball. Uh, what can we say about the sounds? Well, it does sound a little bit like a bowling alley, I suppose. Yes, if you're still here, then well done. Uh, it isn't about expert gameplay. I mean, it's pretty tough to hang on to this video, I would imagine, <laughs> with this like content going on here with this game. But uh, it's a, it's not a stinger. It's just that it struggles to recreate an exciting 10 pin bowling game. Um, yeah. Well, how could they have done it better then? Um, different views, options of different views, uh, different characters to pick with graphics of their faces, maybe. Um, bit of music playing, different coloured balls, perhaps. Uh, just just a bit more involved uh, a bar to go to at half time it's it's yeah it it's not great it's not great but in terms of bowling i suppose it's acceptable not quite sure what it would have scored back in the day but 1993 i would have been happier playing lotus esprit turbo challenge instead but that's hardly comparable so you can check your score at any time i'm beating pinky but i'm controlling them as well why hasn't it got more colours, this thing? It wasn't like a memory issue, was it? Kaboom! That was maximum power. That reminds me of that scene in, is it Superman 3? Where um, Superman sneezes uh, there to make some kid look good at bowling and the ball hit, gets a strike but smashes all the pins up. You're supposed to think Superman's a good man, but then it must have cost the bowling alley of absolute fortune uh, replacing all those bins. General Zod wouldn't have done that. He would have had maximum respect 
for the bowling alley. If you are General Zod, then comment in the comment section below, and that I mean the Terence Stamp Gen General Zod, not the new one who was uh, well, it's not new anymore, but the newer one that was fighting Henry Cavill's Harry Cavill's uh, Harry Seacombe's version of Superman, Harry Corbett. Right, okay. Um, I don't know. Not dirty Harry Corbett, that's for sure. Um, so I'm like this. I, I desperately want the game to end already. Have you seen this far into the video? It's probably because you like this kind of commentary rather than the game itself, so thank you. Uh, if you have looked this far in, not all games are quite as boring as this one, so please consider subscribing. There's lots of videos on there as we attempt to review everything ever, except for stuff that's got rude bits in, because we keep this channel to a PG level. So if you're trying to get your kids into old-style gaming, or you're watching it with uh, someone in the room that you're worried about swearing, then that's not going to happen on this, on this one, so you can have the sound turned right up. Kaboom! I definitely won't be live streaming this game, that is for sure. Oh god, get me out of here. I'm only playing this because we're trying to review it to see what happens at the end. I already wish I'd done one player instead of two players. I mean, it wouldn't have been too much difficulty, was it? Or too much more trouble to go to change the colour of the ball to change that. A nice green ball going down, or a different design ball, different pattern on the ball. That wouldn't have taken too much. Uh, I don't know how long it would have taken to actually um, make this game, but not very long. Uh, the sense must be the spin. I'm not mixing about with that too much. It doesn't tell you how quick the, the bowling alley runs. Uh, Kingpin uh, Bowling did. Told you what sort of way the alley was going. This is just a set stuff, always down the same lane, as we uh, play Pinky. I've experimented with the, the, the other bowling system on this, we're just rolling the mouse up and back, but that's it. You don't get too much control out of that. It was on the Wii. I, said, I suppose there's lots of bowling games on, on the Wii, isn't there? That, that, probably, that system probably works a bit like that. But with a mouse, especially the old-fashioned Amiga mouse, forget it, big nose. Forget it. Oh, I just fancy throwing my shoes down the alley now and getting chucked out the bowling place. Where are we? About halfway through. Hooray! That didn't work. Down the gutter it goes. And that's pretty much my experience of normal bowling whenever I went. Haven't been for a, a long, long time. Um, I'm not the uh, the strongest guy in the world, so I do the bowling ball and go it'll go down the uh, the middle if I was lucky, very, very, very slowly, and then some um, uh, big bully boy afterwards would would zip it down about five times as fast, making me look a little bit silly. But it was all random, really. Sometimes a slow ball could knock them all down anyway. It's bowling. There's no. There's, actually, I'm trying to think of a game that controls. The, to do with the other bowling, like uh, crown bowls, like lawn bowls. I can't think of any. If you know of a lawn bowls bowling game, then comment in the comment section below. What is it? It'd probably be a public domain game. This feels like a public domain game, but I'm told it was officially released. I'm still, still struggling to believe it, but it's got a good name. Strikes and Spares. Strikes and Spares. So nothing to do with um, striking from work, and nothing to do with spare tyres. Hey, Kaboom! Eat that. That's a strike for me. Pick up those pins. You don't get the sound of this one, of the um, the pin, the machine coming down and reloading the pins. So that's a bit weak as well. It's very basic, very basic. But probably, if this had come out on the Commodore 64, not sure if it did or not, it wouldn't look too dissimilar to this. Um, obviously you wouldn't have had the sound of the, uh, the bowling, the pins being knocked over. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I, I imagine I'm talking to myself at the moment. Hooray! Well, it's good practice of making videos and editing and stuff. There's a quit button on the bottom left. Let's try and keep my eye off there because I'd love to do a bit of quitting. We gotta get out of this game. Ba 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 ba. If it's the last thing we ever do. Ba 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 ba. We gotta get out of this game. La 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 la. For me and you. Right. Hang on a minute. Let's go. Let's go. Big thank you to the members as well. Uh, keeping the channel going. This is probably the most boringest game I've reviewed in quite some time. I'm, I'm trying to make it entertaining, but boy, is it tricky. It's tricky stuff. It's a bit like doing a comedy routine with the whole script written by Bobby Davro. It's very tricky indeed to work with. Boof! Take that out. Bobby Davro, if you're not in the UK, was a, I think he was a, a popular comedian in the 80s, maybe. Uh, maybe a bit a bit cruel on Bobby. He's, if he's in Panto uh, this year, go and see him. Well done, Bob. Biff. There we go. A spare for Pinky. 
We've got just got two bowls left, and then we're going to get out of here, and we're never going to play this thing ever, 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 ever again. Talking about pantos, um, if you you get good money for pantos, if you're watching this, anyone that's directing a panto, and you want me in the panto, uh, then I am available. Thank you very much. That's never going to happen, is it? It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. If it does happen, then comment on this video that it happened, and I was being a wally, but it's not going to happen. Panto season. I'm not dressing up as a woman. Well, what's the what's the what's the money like? Uh, I could be tempted. Right, kaboom it! Uh, get ready. That looks central. What you don't want is a split, and a split is when um, you can't knock over both the left o left over pins on the second go because they're too far apart. I split these two. We can do it. We don't know what the split is. It's not giving us the numbers. Should be able to get it. Have I got it? No, I've got one. That was harder to do. That was a lot harder to do. Now, let's have uh, my other go. Is this my last bowl or is it a free one? I think it's my last bowl, right. Get a strike to finish off with, please, Nick, and then we'll say goodbye. Two left. Well, that's eight on the first one. Um, You know, I've seen professional bowling. They t tend to get a strike every time they bowl it down. Where's the excitement in that? Uh, we won't muck about with the spin. That sense, I'm more into nonsense myself. Just dead straight and we can clobber these. Don't get down the gully. There it is. Boof. That's another spare for me. So I'm going to beat Pinky. That's not surprising because I've been controlling Pinky's uh, bowls as well. We'll give maximum. See if Pink. Oh, that's it's me again. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Boy, did I waste that. 116, right, now now it's Pinky, the last bowl, and then this review will be over. This gameplay, nonsensical review, done it in the old-fashioned way. I deserve to get more there. See, I've got a bit of a nasty split there. I can't knock both of those over, or Pinky can't. Right, roll it, or should I do it the old way? Roll it, boof. Not very good. Yeah, so what can we say about this game? Very, very, very bland. Um, probably the blandest of bowling games I've seen. Not much excitement there. Um, compared to Kingpin RK Sports Series Bowling, it's not really doing anything of any um, worth. It's doing the basics of that. If you're really into 10 pin bowling, you might get a bit of fun out of this. I can take it or leave it. And this is a very lacklustre game. Very rudimentary, um, um, you know, look of the thing, the the interface, should I say. And it's it's quite poor, really. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Strikes and Spares on the Commodore Amiga, published by Beyond Entertainment in 1993. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.